What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a fall favorites. I haven't done... Hi! Mm. I know. I haven't done a favorites video in a really long time and I try to do them seasonally because I feel like I get in one routine for a season and then I change the next season so it just makes sense to do it that way for me. But yeah, so these are some new things, some old things that I've just discovered that I love again. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First I will start with fragrance and these are all old fragrances that I've just kind of been loving again. I hate spending money on perfume, it's like one of the worst things, I just hate it. Number one is my Elizabeth and James and I know there's the white one and the black one. I love the black one. The scent is so perfect for fall, it's like spicy and smoky. One squirt will take you, oh I hate that word squirt, Ugh. One spray will take, one pump will take you through the whole entire day. This is another oldie but goodie. I've been wearing this for a really, really long time. It's a little bit on the lighter side, but still perfect for fall. For going out for my nighttime perfume, the Tom Ford Black Orchid. To me, this is not a daytime perfume at all. It is so strong. That's what you want, then go for it. But um, this is my go-to nighttime perfume. So the next thing I have are two pairs of workout leggings. And you guys are the ones who recommended these to me. I'm like so obsessed with them. Um, I asked you guys for recommendations and you told me. This pair is from 90 Degree by Reflex and I got these on Amazon. And they come in like, 15 colors, so many colors. They are super, super like tight. They hold everything in. They just make you feel really secure, um, not see through at all. I also got the basic black ones from Zella, and I actually like these a little bit better. They're very similar to the Amazon pair. These are a little bit thicker, and they also come in different prints. Next is a brand from Urban Outfitters called Out From Under. I might have showed you guys this before, I can't remember, but they have the most comfortable, like, lounge things. I already have this bra top. It's like a high neck and then a low back. Just ordered the high leg undies, black and in the white color. So ordered the bandeau. This is the most, like, comfortable material I think I've ever put on my body. Thick, but it's not too thick. It feels secure. Um, I sleep in the sets, obviously not the ones with the tags on them because I just got them. Next I'll do a few home items. So first I have my go-to fall candle. My go-to candle, just my life candle, is the Volcano Candle from Anthropology. It's just always been my favorite. No, it's nothing else like it. The Volus Ball Pomegranate Blood Orange. Spicy, um, it's fall, but it, you also wouldn't smell it and be like, oh, that's a fall candle. It just kind of gives you some fall vibes because it's spicy. Container is always so cute. It goes with all of my fall flowers and like that really matters, but you know, <laughs> some people it does like me. Next thing is my little iPhone tripod. Um, it has just, I didn't even know these existed until recently. Um, whenever I do my Facebook lives for Life by Her, I'm always like propping my phone up. I have like this rigged system and it falls over and I'm like, sorry guys. So I got one of these. I'm sure all of you in the Facebook and the Life by Her group were like, thank God, because I was so tired of you and Ryan like fiddling with the thing. It's a remote control timer for selfies that I don't even know where that is anymore. Um, but yeah, it comes with that. Next is my oil diffuser. Um, I keep this on my nightstand. Ryan and I both get kind of dry skin in the winter, so this is perfect. And my two favorite scents um, is the eucalyptus, and I also like the lavender, which is in my bathroom right now. But I kind of alternate back and forth um, weekly between those two scents. I bought this, like I went crazy buying essential oils after. I bought like this whole pack of like 12 essential oils on Amazon. I've been like testing them. Um, but yeah, it, and it also makes your room smell good. So it serves like dual purpose. So my next home item, I'm so, it's like my favorite thing in the world, is, is my heating pad. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you and then I'll explain. So this is my heating pad, it's my favorite thing ever. And at night, I like to turn my air conditioner down super low, wrap up in that thing. Um, I love it so much and that one actually has a timer on it so if you fall asleep, it shuts off automatically. It's great for um, if you get bad cramps, if you're sore from a workout or just wanna like 
gets super comfy and under a blanket watch a movie and put the heating pad on a couple of valentine's days ago i asked ryan he was like what do you want for valentine's day and i was like i want a heating pad so i got a heating pad and it finally broke and so i ordered a, this one and it's soft and it's just really nice so if you're like me and like a grandma then you will love you you will love a heating pad my next home item is my jbl speaker um if this is so dirty i'm embarrassed it's waterproof so it's great for when i'm in the shower and i'm uh, listening to an audiobook or a podcast while i'm getting ready listening to music while i'm cleaning these make great gifts too if, you're, if you guys are looking for a gift for somebody these make really good gifts i think that's it for my home stuff um blah, 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 blah. makeup so um i get a lot of questions about my lipstick and i'll just show you guys kind of what i've been doing lately on tarte salt life I will put Milani's Matte Naked over it. So you get this really nice kind of purpley, uh, like mauve purple color. And then over it, you get this really pretty matte over it. So it's almost like a purple pink with a, like a matte finish. It's not too dark, not too light. It gives you a nude color, but still some sort of color. So that's what I love about it. Next is my makeup my eyeshadow palette from Tarte. I promise this isn't sponsored by Tarte. I've, I've never had a sponsorship with Tarte. I just love their makeup. I've been trying to transition all of my products into cruelty-free, and this is my favorite makeup brand so far that I have found that is cruelty-free. So, is this eyeshadow palette, and not an eyeshadow person at all, so I usually just have one for the whole entire season um and this is perfect it's got just all the colors that i would need and it's got fun colors it's got just basic colors so this is really good that's it for makeup what's next let's do um skincare yeah for skincare and beauty i guess um i've been using this josie moran argon exfoliating powder uh i've been using it twice a week and it's so nice it's actually it's it's about powder um, and you just mix it with water and it just removes any dirt, any makeup. The only thing is sometimes I won't get enough water and I'll put it on my face and I breathe in the powder and like choke to death in the shower. Be really careful not to choke. It doesn't smell amazing, but it works really well. And to me, I'm not like a huge smell person when it comes to products, so it doesn't really bother me. Next is my Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Serum. And I have never really gotten into anti-aging until recently. This is my first anti-aging product, I guess you could say. My grandmother told me, always start early, always start in your 20s using anti-aging. And I never listened to her until now. She's going to be proud of me. <laughs> my next skincare product is my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And I went into Kiehl's and asked the woman, like, what is your most popular product for kind of an overnight serum that won't make me break out or get super oily um, or feel gross, like sticky in the morning. She showed me this and I can see why this is their best product. So good. Only been using it for a week, which I know is like no time in skincare product, but I'm really starting to look for items that I'm going to be incorporating into like a weekly. I hate just alternating skincare routines constantly, constantly. So I'm looking for products that I want to stick with and mostly brands that I want to stick with. Um, so I'm kind of just trying to find a good skincare routine right now, but um, this will definitely stay. It's here to stay. Next is my good old lip balm, and it's by Mary Kay, and this is the only thing that works on my chapped lips in the winter time. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys this last year. This is probably my like eighth tube that I've gone through. My grandmother in Texas, she knows somebody who sells Mary Kay, so I'm like, hello, I need some more lip stuff. <laughs> Next are my deodorant wipes. For those of you who only use natural deodorant, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that wet feeling you get when you put deodorant on and you're out, you don't have BO and it doesn't smell, but your pits feel like wet. And also sometimes just natural deodorant throughout the day, sometimes you just, it doesn't like completely last. So I always carry at least like six of these in my purse all the time. Next is a product that I have never used, but my Life by Her Lookbook Facebook community says that it is amazing. So I went ahead and ordered it. Um, we had like a huge long thread about it and people were like raving about it. Um, but it is the Indian Healing Clay Aztec Secret. 
and it's powder. Amazon reviews were crazy incredible so I went ahead and ordered it and supposedly if you mix it with apple cider vinegar it makes it even better. So, so excited you can make hair masks out of it. I learned so much on Amazon in the comment section. A brush to put it on with. I don't know. It was like an add-on thing so I was like, oh maybe I need that. I probably didn't need that. Maybe I did. Yeah, so I'll let you guys know how much I love it. It has a great review, so I'm gonna go ahead and trust everyone. Um, and all the girls in the light hair community like swore by it, so I'm gonna try it. Is my cardamom, my ground cardamom. I have been putting this in my coffee. It has amazing health benefits, and it tastes like fall, Christmas, Thanksgiving in my coffee. I'll usually alternate between this and cinnamon. I used to go to this coffee shop here in the city, um, and I would get a cardamom latte. I thought it was some sort of like syrup that they put in it and then I was at Whole Foods and I was like wait cardamom is a is it this I don't know I thought it was a co like a coffee <laughs> so yeah now I've been using it and I love it so now I have two pairs of shoes for you that's four but this is two first are my studded booties and I love these I get in the habit of when I'm running out somewhere I'll throw on just jeans and a sweater and I'm like wow you're this is boring Ashley what's going on so I will throw these on and it just makes my outfit so I think a good pair of studded booties is definitely a favorite of mine right now because this is kind of the season where I'm just doing some light sweaters just basic jeans and this just makes your outfit even just like a basic black cotton dress this shoe I mean this style of shoe will take you take you far. Well, I don't know about that, but it'll at least help your outfit. <laughs> and my last shoe is this guy from Nine West. And you know, I'm gonna be honest, it's not the most comfortable shoe, but it's so cute. It's got burgundy piping. It's got this cute detail, um, this little button detail. And yeah, I just pointy toe, like super pointy toe. Um, I know that burgundy is always such a big color in the fall, so I think, you know, having this piping really ties in like a burgundy sweater and jeans. Wow, I just blew through that. I'm really tired of hearing myself talk, and I'm sure you are too. So, with that being said, I'm gonna end this video now. I talked about the Life by Her lookbook. Um, it is, all I talk about is the Facebook community, but it is an actual magazine um, that my team and I put together every month. It's a really cool community, a really cool magazine, a cool process. So, we now have an app. Um, it is ready for Android. It is not ready for iPhone yet. I'm gonna put the link below and also here. If you want to learn more about it, you can read up on it, read some reviews. If you have any questions, don't, um, if you have any questions, there's, um, a frequently asked questions section and there's also a customer chat. Um, someone's available. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Yep, I'm going to quit talking now in this video. Uh, but I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.